Hi everyone, I am just doing a little ink doodling and I thought I would come on and show you um, the beginnings of my inks and kind of ideas and so I have them put on a tray, you know the cart, Michael's cart. So let me show you this cart real fast and then I'll show you um, some other items. So this is my tray, uh, my cart rather, and this is what I have on it, so you can kind of see. And it, my um, collection won't be very large. I'm not expecting to um, try a lot of inks, just um, a handful probably, but I just am wanting to do something different with what I create um, when I use these inks. And so I thought I'd just show you to begin with um let me just show you uh marilyn gave me this which got me into well maybe i will start playing with my inks again she gave me this um let me see it is a uh can you read that <laughs> caveco um it's a German pin, I believe. Caveco Sport. And um, so I did put some ink in there because I, I couldn't get it to work. Um, but I finally, uh, I put this brown ink in there. And, oh, you can't see. And so it works, it works well. I am um, happy with that. And also, these are the ones I've had in the past. This is also a Caveco um, Sport. And this is like, I've had this, I don't know, maybe five years ago. <laughs> and it worked right away. And this is the other one. And it's running out of ink. So I think I have some blue in that one. Black and blue for these two. And brown for the pink. So that's what I have. Um, last about a year and a half ago I did purchase this one for writing and it's a pilot Kakuno and I really enjoy this one it's just pull out and you put your um, ink um, cartridge in there it's real simple and it's only um, let's see was I looked at it today on Amazon I bought it on Amazon and it was eight dollars and ninety cents and I don't remember that's probably what I paid I don't remember but um, it works very nicely and um, so I enjoy that one real well for writing. Just um, notes and letters. Mm -hmm. And so I just enjoy writing with this one. It writes very smoothly. You just push it in and it clicks. And so I really like that one also. In the past I used um, um, these type of um, ink pens. Um, dip pens and this one's <laughs> I leave my tags on sometimes um, and I and for calligraphy I have a bunch of you know when I did calligraphy a long time ago I, I tried it and I have these pens uh, nibs and you just put them in here put the nib in and um, I wasn't using this one I started out with this one and it worked this is so nice um, this pen holder is a Tachikawa, I don't know, and I don't even know where I got this part. I thought I got it on Amazon, but I couldn't find my, you know, um, uh, that I bought it on there. So, anyway, and then I got this, which is a, a Browse 361 Steno Blue Pumpkin calligraphy pen nib <laughs> long name and a fine point and I got this on on jet pens and I really love how this one writes it's really nice so um and I plan on doing some sketches and some um, drawings and stuff pen and ink with um you know some watercolor so that's my plan and that's why I probably will use these rather than the other ones I like how sketchy they write or they draw and so um, I probably use these now for inks 
You know, I bought in the past not being very um, knowledgeable about, you know, how it writes and stuff. I did want to use some of this um, gold ink. And when I tried it, it's it just look at this how how um, I didn't it doesn't work very well come it doesn't come out very well so I just I'm just not liking how this ink I'll probably try to find a, a gold ink that I like to uh, write with and um, to do some drawings with probably the drawings will be more of a um, Indio um, ink the Indian ink, India ink, India ink. What is that called? You know, like the black India ink. Um, and but mine's all dried up. This is a Sumo ink, and I did try writing with that one, and it does work pretty good. Um, so I'll probably use this until I don't have any more, and then I'll try another, another um, brand. But um, this seems to work really well. So I, I'm I'm sure this is what I'll be using. I really like this. It's just really smooth. So I'm I'm going to be drawing with this one. And let's see. I what else did I want to say about that? Oh, okay. So. You know about the ink swatches. I did get some ink swatches, um, ink uh, from Goulet pens. I think they gave me. Uh, I think there was maybe twelve of them of the sample ones like this. This amount you can get these little tiny um, uh, amounts, and so they gave me some, and I did try some um, out. And I'm not sure. Oh, this is how the that gold did speedball. The speedball didn't do well, and then the, this gold just really had a hard time writing with that. And um, and then when I tried with my um, that pumpkin calligraphy nib, um, it it really did well with the with this with um, some good kind of inks. Windsor and Newton, Pete Brown, I tried, and then, where is that one, um, I don't have it here with me, I guess, at any rate, so, I don't know whether I want to do the swatches like this, or if I want to do it in a book, for my um, purposes of doing, you know, drawings and, and things. So this seems to work fairly well to see the gradations and and uh, the writing and things. And then I use this one, Dimene Aurora Borealis, and this is a really pretty one also. I'm not sure if I got at all the gradients, so I know I'm not real familiar with these this um, um, ink type of inks so I've only done the India inks in the past so this is this will be fun to work with and I was thinking maybe I could do some, a little bit of painting it might be difficult with the ink I'm not sure if anybody out there has tried the ink um, with a uh, water with water like watercolor and also this this paper I'm trying is the um, cold press, Arches cold press, and it's 140 pound. I never used um, cold press before, so I wanted to try it. So I just took a sheet and then used this. Um, maybe if you want to see the pad, paper pad, it looks like this. And I got this from um, Amazon, and it's one that's that's not attached. I do have that one, but it's in hot press. But um, so it's like that. In how many sheets are those? Twelve. Twelve sheets. So not that many. Um, so I did get those, and I, I really think I like that. Um, so we'll see. I'm just kind of experimenting. So like I said, I didn't buy a whole lot. I did buy the set of Bombay's. 
and so I haven't tried them out yet but they look really thick kind of ink right so um, Doc Martens so I will try those and then um, oh and then I want to go through the um, little booklet that I I put together because uh, first I want to show you this one that Marilyn G made for me and um, I love this paper for this um, fabric um, this is Tilda and um, this is my favorite one and it she had um, fabric so she made this for me um, and I'll show you she has this little trinkets on here and the scissors and um, I had to change this because it it's been several years since she gave it to me and it was all oh, you know stretched out so I changed this so for me to figure that out that was pretty <laughs> <laughs> and then she made um, two two signatures so she, she made this for me and it's it's got um, let me just show you she print out a, this for me to use for my um, for my YouTube channel uh, things the people that sent me things and stuff and then she made this one for me which I've already changed the papers out and she put some, um, um, I don't know if this is Bristol, maybe, Bristol paper, but this is so beautiful, this paper, isn't it? Oh, it's my favorite. So anyway, she made this for me, so I did have a um, leather piece that I bought at Michael's a long time ago to make one, and I never did. So when Anna White um, showed hers, I said, I've got to get mine out and, and finish it up. So I did. And in the meantime, I already had some um, signatures that I, I never got around to making. And so these are the signatures I put in. Um, Traveler's Notebook watercolor paper. And then I had this one, Dot Grid. And I had this one, um, Notebook Sketch Paper. So I had, I had those already and I thought oh I should just put it together and the leather is this color leather and so I did what she did she had a buffalo nickel um, pin that went through here and so I went to um, Hobby Lobby and I got this one I used the um, some cording I already had brown cording that I already had that to make this um, and I just never did. And you know how many years ago that was? That was when it first came out, you know, this the Traveler's Notebook stuff. So I just saved it, and then um, one day I did, was determined to put it together. <laughs> so I figured out how, how to um, do it from, from Marilyn's um, notebook and made, um, you know, two holes on each, each end and then made one hole in the center. Thread it through, um, and then these are my signatures in here so I put the sketchbook first and then I put in the um, the second one is where is it oh this one this one is the um, is this sketchbook and this one is oh here this one is the dot the first one was the dots the dot grid and then I put the sketchbook so this is the sketchbook one. And then the third one I put in is the watercolor paper. The watercolor, the, um, and it feels like a hot press, I don't know. It feels smooth to touch. So I'm pretty sure that's a um, hot press. So that's what I have. And I love this. So it's ready to go. <laughs> I just have to decide um, I'll do some sketches pencil and then do some uh, watercolor pen and ink type of things in the last one and and the middle um, well that'll be sketching the grid will be maybe colors right the, of the ink maybe I'll do that so that's as far as I got on those I did get some of these you know, I buy these things intentionally to make stuff 
and then I don't get to it. But these were from Michaels, so it had like this type of thing when they carried it. And so I had gotten three of these kind of, you can put photos and, and do your, um, like a diary kind of thing on these. So, um, but the Traveler's notebook size to fit in the, the same size. But I never got around to doing it. And so, that's um, sitting here. And then, um, that's on the second shelf. And then, also, I have some stamps that I have collected um, from um, the red lead paperworks that I purchased from them. So I'll be using this kind of things for the um, the artwork and and things like that. So I'm just collecting different kinds of stuff. And um, let me see. I have, I have on the bottom just some um, markers and different kinds of of pens and stuff like that. So that's really what all I wanted to share with you because I'm not really further along. I'm just in the beginning stages of doing some of this artwork and and so I just wanted to share. So thanks you guys for watching and I will talk to you in the ne next video. Thank you. Bye bye.